I found that wherever Yogananda went, people would be just constantly drawn to him. They, they, they didn't know why, but they just felt that he had something that they wanted. Love, that's all. He was full of God's love. This is the superconscious way to try to not be, not seek your solutions in unconsciousness, in retreat, in self-protection, in hardening yourself, but then not to be so naive as to think that, well, okay, so I love this girl and she turned out to be married. Maybe next time around it'll work. And so uh, you end up falling in love day after day with all these different people and they're all letting you down because the nature of man is to let down, unfortunately. The nature of this world is simply not to be perfect. And it will never give you what you want because it's too busy looking for what it wants. But if you just love because you're happier loving than not loving, if you learn from your experiences with people to rise above the conscious level instead of stupidly, naively, constantly thinking that maybe I'll finally get this trip together on a conscious level, maybe what I need is a bigger house, maybe what I need is uh, this, that, the other thing. No, the answer is to open yourself up. And it's simply a line of development that just as when you wake up from the subconscious into consciousness, there's a greater affirmation of life. So what we need to do is affirm that even higher life. Get into the beat of it. Get into the rhythm. Get into the flow, and suddenly you'll find that it happens very easily. And any step that you take on the path, once you've really taken it, and you understood that little bit, it all looks so hard beforehand, but once you've taken it, oh, it's so simple. That's the amazing thing about this path, that you, you look at those saints and you think, my God, what heroes, I couldn't possibly, that, that's too hard. Listen, I, uh, once you've done it, you think, my God, what child's play. Well, let me at the next step, you begin thinking, and finally you feel like running, because it's so lovely. It's not at all the punishment and sacrifice and st uh, struggle, yes, but joyful struggle. But what it all comes back to is that we must learn to live superconsciously. We must learn, le learn to live in the consciousness, I can, not ma è difficile, but si posso, I can. And when you start living in that, that thought, you begin to see that slowly answers start coming instead of problems. For every problem, there's a solution. That's a truth, and you must remember it, blazon it in your mind. For every problem, there has to be a solution, or the problem wouldn't exist. Sometimes the solution is simply to leave the problem. It's amazing how often that works, too. But there is a solution. You can get out of whatever you're in. The way out is by becoming more conscious, not less conscious. More joyful, not less joyful. More accepting, not less accepting. More loving, not less loving. More willing, not less willing. More energetic, not less energetic. And it takes one step at a time, just one step in front of the other. And then finally you realize that you're really making progress. And finally you realize you've gotten there, which is everywhere. So, the answer to the situation that we talked about yesterday, the problem of life, is superconscious living. How to do that? How to apply that level of reality to every phase of our existence? That's what I hope to be able to cover a little bit this week. How can I cover more uh, than just a tiny bit of such a cosmic reality? But with my little mud pail, I hope to go out and pick up a few pebbles. It's worth it, even that. If it can help you, above all, to get into the rhythm of it, the beat of it, the flow, the melody. If you can get the feel behind the words, this will mean more than anything I could possibly teach. If I can be a little bit of a channel for my guru and for the power that flowed through him into this world, and can touch you a little bit with that, that will mean a thousand times more than all the ideas even that you can get here. And so, more than anything else, I hope to be able to share that behind-the-scenes consciousness that really makes these teachings living. <laughs>